little mood music. <laughs> Pouring the drink is like mood music. Welcome to the speakeasy where we're sharing another drink because why not? It's Friday. Mm -hmm. You like drinks. We like drinks. That's why you're our listeners because you like the same stuff we do. You like food. Mm -hmm. We like food. You like drinks. We like drinks. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This might be a little more of a challenge to get through. <laughs> And we like <laughs> hanging out with you guys <laughs> and with each other and um, laughing at each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it become the butt of the joke. Okay, uh, listen, <laughs> stop. <clears throat> so we are having a Halloween cocktail this week because Halloween is Monday. So if you're gonna have your Halloween party or your cocktails to celebrate Halloween, you're probably doing it this weekend. Here's an idea. I mean, why not? Some people hand out like drinks at the door to the parents. Yeah, I think that's yes. amazing. I love yeah. that idea. I, oh, I know. If, if there were more people who came to my neighborhood, I would totally do that. I feel like there was a Halloween where some of our husbands were out trick-or-treating the kids and they came back and they're like, if I would have accepted all the drinks I was offered, I would be so drunk right now. Yeah. That was your neighborhood, Erin, because we were around a fire, campfire in your yes, backyard. That's right. Oh, and the yeah. kids and it the was dads. a full moon. It was some sort of blue moon or something like mm, that. Right? Remember? Yeah. So Erin's neighborhood. Uh, Sarah, we just need to go trick or treat over there. Mm -hmm. Get the drinks. Mm -hmm. Do we have to have a child with us, or can we just show up <laughs> for I, drinks? I, I think that's optional. <laughs> just just tag near a a group of children. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you Pretend. know when you're out with your kids. They want to pretend that you're invisible anyway at this right. age. That's so true. the parents won't think it's weird that you're just like that the kids are walking away from you and not acknowledging you in any way because that's how your own children are treated. <laughs> you. But we could just be like, hey, yeah. wait up, or like just yell at one of the random Yeah, ones. exactly. Just real? yell up the street. Stay on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> wait for us. Oh, and watch smart. them run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger. Strangers, ladies, have you been mm -hmm. following a group of children all night? What? Ladies, have you oh. been drinking? Give me another. <laughs> so I, I actually had a different drink planned mm -hmm. for right. this mm -hmm. because I did a little search for like Halloween cocktails. Yeah. And I found one that I thought looked good, looked the part. I bought the stuff. I made it. It was not good. Oh. I didn't even want to drink it. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to make that. I can't in good mm -hmm. conscience post this on the website and pretend that we liked it. So, uh, so I switched gears a little bit, but as a result, I had grenadine. So that is the red color of your drink. Right. Ah, that's what I'm drinking. That's what you're drinking. And this, the alcoholic version of this is called a dirty Shirley, which I find really amusing. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just like really pausing did. to think for a moment. <laughs> okay, it's called a Dirty Shirley because it is the grown-up version of a Shirley Temple. Temple. Which is nice. what Aaron has, <laughs> essentially. So, oh. Yeah, basically, that's right. Oh, yeah. but but there's no orange juice. Is Apparently. the Shirley Temple not supposed to have orange juice? I don't know. I don't Maybe know, but it's ways the, it, it tastes a lot like the drink that you made. It is the grenadine. That's essentially what you need in a Shirley Temple or a Dirty Shirley. So let me tell you what's in this here Dirty Shirley. Let's hear it. Two ounces of vodka, one ounce of grenadine, roughly eight ounces of lemon lime soda, and it's supposed to have maraschino, maraschino cherry, but I couldn't find any when I went to the store. Like, oh, no idea why. That's you strange. could have waited for um, Aaron's. The cursed cherry would be really good in your Dirty Shirley. Right. And probably yes. in your Shirley Temple if you're not serving it to children. <laughs> oh, very mm -hmm. tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And apparently, according to the story, you know, because she was a child when she was kind of famous in Hollywood, mm -hmm. she had a special drink for her because she'd be at these parties, but she was too little to partake. Oh. So then as she grew up a little bit and was of, you know, acceptable age to drink, which in Hollywood was probably like 12 or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was I was hoping you'd aim low there. <laughs> and they added some vodka into her drink, so they say. Hmm. So there you go. With her knowingly, I hope. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I hope I so. Hope so. <laughs> I like it without the cherry, too. But uh, I like it. It's very nice. It's very light. 
And it's very pretty. I'm in my happy place, drinking. Yep. <laughs> Trying to sit still, sit upright. <laughs> Delicious. Are you? Are your children trick or treating this weekend? Yes. I'm. I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. That's yes, the plan. Course. We have uh, this year. We have Indiana Jones. Mm. And Pennywise the Clown again Ooh. for a second year in a row. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Make Excellent. use of that costume. Yes. If you bought it, you might as well make it spread mm -hmm. a couple of years. How about you, Sarah? Have you ordered your costumes already? Yeah. <laughs> I have to order <laughs> one more. Oh, my um, God. Yes. I don't make my own costumes. Um, yes, we take Halloween very seriously in this house. Mm -hmm. Because I did not grow up in a country that celebrated Halloween. So mm -hmm. I loved it as soon as I moved to Canada embraced it my favorite <laughs> are you doing a full family costume then no my kids don't want to do that anymore oh it sucks that but we sad. have archie our dog <laughs> who we tend to match our costumes with oh nice. so, ah, perfect yeah, he's got a whole ghostbusters get up and we're probably gonna go as that again very nice and yours Aaron? yeah well i think they're gonna go out but they probably won't put too much effort into their costume since now it's more of a grab and go for them they've learned that masks only slow you down <laughs> <laughs> heavy accessories are not worth carrying all night optimizing yeah the candy count exactly mm. but i don't know it they might be aging out of trick-or-treating soon which is mm. oh, kind of an interesting thought to have i trick-or-treated right up until i possibly could i say as long as you dress up yeah like if a teenager comes to my door and has made an effort and dressed up and is polite at the door mm -hmm. i give him candy mm -hmm. yeah. i don't think there's an age limit really i don't think there should be no Clearly, Sarah and I believe we should be able to go and ask for drinks. So. Yes, so if you see us, neighbors, We're not too old. Grandma Heather is not too old to come to your door. And I'm only a year <laughs> behind Grandma. So, so you know, <laughs> offer us the drinks. That's right. It we'll also smile. take, like, jello shots. Or yeah. mm, mini bottles. <laughs> we have so few pleasures left in place. <laughs> I love it. Well, when, after we've gone around and collected all our drinks, Aaron, we can meet you in your backyard fire pit. Your, oh, you don't have your fire pit anymore. We'll stumble over. It's okay. We'll just light the trampoline on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Make some ice cream. <laughs> and the, the ice, ice cream, cream ball, ball around. maker. <laughs> just, for, just for fun. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yes. Happy Halloween. Drink responsibly. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It sounds like it's uh, the end of the evening here for some <laughs> No, it's the start for me. It's the start. It's just the beginning. Just the beginning. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. I've been drinking all day and I can't do it. I didn't say I've been drinking all day. You were drinking in the morning. You're drinking just, in the afternoon. And I will and... be drinking in the evening, I guarantee you. Yeah. So, okay, so does that not qualify as all day, Sarah? No, because we're talking about <laughs> mid-mornings and lunchtime. I wasn't drinking then. <laughs> Sorry. Ah.